So I'd like to start by talking a little bit about this show. We've seen a lot of uh, television shows migrate to video games from TV. Yeah. What would your vision be for a Haven video game? My vision? Yes. All about Nathan. Just like Nathan's, <laughs> it would be called Nathan's Revenge. And it would be, uh, it would be Nathan and there would be Duke like just sort of standing there well not standing but like pinned up on a wall maybe like duct tape and some and it would just be like Mike Tyson's punch out you know sort of game and you don't do much you just sort of you just beat the snot out of this out of this body that would be cool right that would be all right that sounds like a, yeah that sounds like a game right there yeah and then uh, I don't know what what it, how you would actually win um, it would just be sort of like a it would be something that people could do maybe instead of, you know, getting in a fight at home or going into work angry. It would be sort of like a stress reliever game. You could just pound on uh, on Mr. Balfour. You yeah. mentioned Mike Tyson, so you must have some background playing video games, right? Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Yes. Yes. I have a little bit of background playing Punch-Out and Duck Hunt. That's basically all I got. Yeah. <laughs> What do you attribute to the success that Haven has had over the last few years? Wow. Um, well, do you know that I'm in the show? Yeah. So that's basic. No. Um, it's uh, <laughs> that's terrible, terrible, untrue joke. Um, but partially, I'll get back to me. Um, well, first of all, sci-fi. Being on sci-fi, like sci-fi fans are amazing. They watch shows on sci-fi just because they're on sci-fi and no other st station has that, you know? Um, so we had a built-in fan base initially that gave us a shot and I think, you know, supported us from the beginning. So those built-in fans, the built-in Stephen King fans, which is like a huge world too. Um, and the gift of, of being able to do 13 episodes, you know, rather than getting cancelled after three, we knew that we were doing a whole season, so we had time to introduce these characters in this world and this place in a slow um, way, not worrying that we had to spit everything out from the beginning. So, um, so those were, I think, really important factors initially, and then just great people involved, like a, a really incredible character uh, actor who plays Nathan Warnos on the show by the name of Lucas. Um, but Emily and Eric are awesome and we just um, from the beginning I had amazing camaraderie and friendship and I think that that comes through on screen and the writers have written to that wrote these great characters that we get to play and now I think you know the show has just gotten cooler and cooler I'm really proud of the third season especially